I recently had a listing appointment with an amazing family. And then at the end, they asked me, oh, we don't know if we want our home out there publicly, but wanted to know, can I work on a pocket listing? I proceeded to tell them, of course. And then I thought to myself, this is a good topic for you. You might be asking yourself, what is a pocket listing? A pocket listing, also known as an off-market listing or a quiet listing, refers to real estate property that is for sale, but is not publicly advertised or listed on the MLS. Instead of being marketed to the general public, of course, pocket listings are typically shared privately within a network of real estate agents, brokers, and of course, their clients. The concept of the pocket listing emerged as a new way to provide a level of exclusivity and privacy to sellers who may not want their property widely publicized or to buyers who are looking for unique or exclusive opportunities. Here are some of the key points to understand about pocket listings. Okay, number one, limited exposure. Pocket listings are intentionally kept off the MLS, which means they're not accessible to the general public or readily searchable on real estate websites. They are typically shared through, of course, personal connections, agent networks, or private databases. There's the confidentiality aspect. Pocket listings can be appealing to sellers who value privacy and of course discretion. They may want to limit the number of people touring the property or keep their intentional sale confidential for various reasons, such as they could be a celebrity high profile person, personal privacy concerns, or testing the market before committing to a full marketed campaign. There's exclusive opportunities. Pocket listings can offer buyers a chance to access properties that are not widely available to the market. It allows them to explore unique off-market opportunities that may or may not be easily found through traditional listing networks. There's targeted marketing. Pocket listings allow agents to match specific buyer preferences with available properties more directly. By leveraging their personal networks and client databases, agents such as myself can connect suitable buyers with off-market listings that meet their criteria. There's the potential downside, of course. One potential drawback of pocket listings is that they limit the exposure of the property to a smaller pool of buyers, potentially reducing the chances of achieving the highest possible sales price. Furthermore, as the pocket listings are not publicly advertised, they may not receive the same level of market scrutiny or generate as much competition among buyers that are out there. There are legal and ethical considerations to consider. The use of pocket listings can vary by location and may be subject to specific regulations or guidelines set by the real estate association or the governing bodies. It's important for agents and brokers to adhere to the professional code of ethics and ensure they are acting in the best interest of their clients. It's worth noting that pocket listings have received some criticism for potentially limiting market transparency, and fair access to properties. As a result, some real estate markets and industry professionals have introduced alternative practices, such as coming soon, listings or private listing networks to provide a balance between privacy and broader exposure. If you're interested in exploring pocket listings, it's advisable to work with closely with a trusted real estate professional who has access to such opportunities and can guide you through the process while ensuring compliance with local regulations and ethical standards. I'm Natasha Carroll, your local Houston realtor and relocation expert. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Or if you have a topic you would like us to cover, please put it down below. See you on the next video.